So you're doing a continuous border design. Right. And you've stitched your first border and kind of we're pretending that you stitched your first border and that's right. where it, and it ends, show the point where it ends right, right there. there. And then you've put your paper template on your new uh, hooping and you've hooped your fabric the best you could. Right. And now we want to make sure that your first stitch is actually in the correct spot. You exactly. Know, lining up with the last one. Okay. So let's, so you, so, so I've, you, I've set the design. I'm just, to this screen now. So you, you opened up your design, you hit the set button, and this right. is the screen you got. And we'll call this your editing screen. Okay. And to see if we, to see if our first stitch is going to start in the correct spot, we have to go to that first stitch. So in order to do that, we have to hit the embroidery button. And now we're on the embroidery screen. Okay. And from this screen, we can hit the minus plus button. And you'll notice now, before we even hit anything, at the very top, you'll see that we are on stitch count zero. Okay, that's our yeah. stitch count. We're on zero. We haven't gone anywhere. Right. So what I want you to do now is hit plus one, which takes us, hit plus one, go ahead, and look up okay. at the top. It oh, says okay. one. So we're on stitch one. And did you kind of hear your carriage move? Yes. Okay, I know I was talking. You probably, I couldn't hear it. Yeah, it moved. So there we are. There's your laser pointing to the first stitch. So that tells us that, gosh, you hooped as best you could, but like everybody else, you're off a little. Right. So now we'd like to move the needle. It'd be great if we could move the needle from this screen, right? Show oh, me this. Gosh, yeah. But look, look at the jog buttons there, the the positioning buttons. It's all grayed out. Right. That's a dilemma. We have to do a workaround to get those to be black again somehow. Okay. So what we can do is while we're on stitch number one, we can get our ruler out. There you go. We're on stitch number one. We're going to get our ruler out and we're going to okay. estimate on our fabric how far our laser is both vertically and horizontally. And we may have to end up buying a millimeter square ruler to make it easier. So first it looks like you're doing the horizontal distance. Yeah. Which is about... Mm, what is nine? that? About nine. nine. Let's go about five for just for right now so I could show you. I mean, do, do you want to go nine? I wanted to show you how we can do it two times. So we'll go ahead and do the okay. nine. And or then... you can make it ten and just to guesstimate. Okay, and then I think it's going to go down like five. If, if I was precisely measuring it, I would say it's ten and five. So it's ten to the my... left that the needle has to go. Right, and then five down. Ten to the left, five down. So you want to write those numbers down. So you'd write down a negative ten and a negative five. Just, okay. you know, for future. So now that we know that's how you have to move it, we we will hit the zero button on this screen because the zero button. Okay. And look and look oh, at what that did up there. It brought us back to zero and that's very important because by bringing it back to zero 
on this screen, when we go to the previous screen, the embroidery screen, our keypad is going to be black for us because we went back to zero in the stitch count. Oh, okay. Yeah, whenever it's zero, it shows up, but if it's not zero, I don't see it. On the previous screen, right. Yeah. On this screen, you don't see it no matter what you do. It's gray no right. matter if it's zero or if it's one or anything. And this I is mean, what... If this would work, I could move it real quick and it, I'd be done in stitching by now. Right. So, so what do you want me to do? Hit OK? So now that we're at zero and the hoop did move back to the center hoop position, you know, whatever. So yes, hit OK. All right. So now you see that your keypad is black. Yeah. And did you estimate 10 down? Yes. Okay. So move your keypad. So we're going to go down. So you have to hit it 20 times to get to 10. And you'll notice you can hear the carriage moving. Yes. Okay. And then left? Left. What was it? Five? Five. Okay. Okay. And now we, oh, you know, it's still in the center of the, still in the center yeah. of the hoop, you know, because the position, the center position of the design moved. If you look at the screen, your green arrow. Your green crosshair shows the center, the new center of the design. That's great, but we want to know if our first stitch is correct now. So we have to go yeah. in and check our work. So we're going to okay. go to the minus plus button again. Okay. And we're going to hit plus one. Okay. And now, where's your laser? Is it on your dot yet? No, no, it's too far down and too far to the right. Did we go 10 down or 10 over? Because I, I think... I think we needed to go 10. I, I might have done it wrong. I think we needed to go 10 over and 5 down. That's Did right, because you know what? I think brothers, brother does the vertical first which is not how mathematicians do. They always do the X coordinate first. Let me see your coordinates. Go to the left a little. Okay, no, no, down. Okay, do you see the arrow on the 10? Yeah. Brother has you do the vertical positioning first, which is- Oh, it's not X, Y, okay, got it's, it. Yeah, that's not intuitive like math people. So, right. so yeah, switch those. So. But this is good that you did center. that. We can't do it on this stitched screen. Oh, that's right. So I can't hit that center and go back. Okay, so no. I have to go. Okay. Get out of stitch, right? And here's the thing, though. Go back into plus minus stitch, sorry. We want to hit the zero button because if we don't hit the zero button, that was a good example. You have to hit the zero button if you want your black keypad to show up on um, that embroidery screen. That is so stupid. Oh. Yeah, you have to be zeroed out. Now hit okay. Okay. And now you no. can see, okay, so, so it's showing up, but look at how it held your positions. Isn't that interesting? So let's, oh, yeah. let's switch them to what they should have been. Didn't, didn't you say it would have been five down and 10 yes. to the left? Sorry, I'm a little slow at this. It's a new machine, but this is not very intuitive. Okay, so then 10. 
Okay. okay. So, so five, five and ten. ten. Okay. So now let's go ahead and um, look at at your needle position on your fabric. Okay, okay. It's, you notice your needle, it's, that's the center of your design. Because okay. remember, whenever we get into this positioning screen and use those positioning keypads, it just goes back to the center of the design. So okay. go back to your screen. The green arrow, that's the center of your design, the green cross here. Right. So to check for the to check our work of our movements, we have to go to the first stitch. So because if you look in the top left, your stitch count is at zero. Right. And you know, it has to be at zero in order for these keys to show up, these positional keys. So let's go back now into your uh, stitch plus minus button at the bottom. Okay. And let's go to the first stitch and show your screen at the top. Show your screen at the top. We're on the first stitch. Now right. show your fabric. And it's pretty good. I mean, it's only off by like a millimeter. Can you see that? Yeah, so which way do we have to move it this time? This time we need to go up about one or two millimeters. I I can't decide which, one or two. Okay, let's go up two. Okay. So oh, we, can't. we have to go out of here. Now. Yeah, we got to go out of here again. <laughs> now notice that on this screen, there's our original movements. Right. Okay. So you got to remember those original movements because we're going to go up. You said up two mils. Yeah. yeah. Guess what we forgot to do on the previous screen on the plus. I go put it at zero. Yep. Go back into the minus plus. Okay. And hit the zero. Hit zero so that, right, because now look up at the top. We're at zero stitch count. Right. Now that hit so okay. Weird. That doesn't even make sense that you would have to do that, but I get it now. Okay. Well, I forgot too because, you know, this is just insane. Sense. Okay. Yeah. So hit okay. All right. Okay. Our positions are showing there for the design. Okay. Right. The design movement, they're still showing. But you have to kind of write those down because you told me we have to move it up two more mils. So you kind of want to write down your original numbers here, five, negative 5 and negative 10. But I want to move it vertical. Vertical so up. Up two. Yeah, it should say 3. To make it three because we said two millimeters yes already. yes okay. and if you don't want to keep track of that i'll show you a trick on how to make that all zeroed out but i'll show you that at the end of this lecture because okay. now you know you have to keep track of what your original was because what if you forget and press the wrong button and then you're like well what was this originally and then you have to start all over again so I'll show well, you. It feels like you're starting all over again every time because you got to go back out, back in, back out, put to zero. Right. It's so confusing. Okay. Okay. So now, let's let's check our work again. We have to go to stitch number one. I know how to do that now. Okay. So now we look pretty good. You're right on. Yeah. Did we go up too far? No, I think we're, well, we're, I mean, maybe one too far. One down might work. So we made that. So it's got to go. It's got to go down one more. Yeah. So to go down. What do we have to do on this screen? Let's look up at our stitch count. It's still oh, saying one. one. We have to go to zero. Yeah. And then say okay. Yeah. 
And then the plus minus? No, we, we're on this screen now where oh, we... Right. Okay, we can do it here. So we need to go, that needs to be 2.5, I think. Well, if you just hit the down arrow, it you don't even have to think. Oh, 3.5, okay. Right. So good. But good you wanted to go to down a whole mill, I thought. Okay. Okay. So now that we've moved it, we have to check our work again. So go to the plus minus button. And then one. Go to first stitch. And it's on the money, finally. Okay. Finally. Easy. All right. Perfect. So now, what do we have to do to get back to the embroidery screen? Just for the heck okay, of it. Okay. No. Oh. Go back into plus minus. Nope, you went back to the edit screen, which when you go back to the edit screen, you didn't go back to the stitch plus minus screen, you went, you'd hit the return button or something to go back to this edit screen. But this edit screen actually stole all of your movement settings. Oh, it stored it. Yes, it stored it here. It actually stole it, S-T-O-L-E, from our embroidery screen. Because now, since we've gone back here, when you hit embroidery again. Should I hit that? Yeah. So I didn't wipe it all out then, thank you. No, but look at how this screen says zero, zero. Oh no. And you would say to yourself, well, I know I moved it. Look at my green cross here. Yeah, Why is so this saying zero, zero? It yeah, looks like it's still there. Yes, but do you notice how your positions on this uh, embroidery screen, they went back to zero, zero. That's because when we went back to that edit screen, as soon yeah. as you go back to the edit screen, it steals all your positional settings. You can use that to your advantage if you have to, if you want to check your work and then remove again, you know. Okay. You can, but but anyways, just so you know, that's what happened. And you're rest assured that your move position, your move settings are stored. They're just stored on that first screen because you went back to that first screen. And they're not going here, but they're, they're still in the computer. Somewhere. Right, right. So if I hit the plus minus, will it take me back to, and the one, will it take me back to where I should be? Well, you'll notice that when we went back to the edit screen, it took us back to zero. Look up at the top. Oh, okay. We're at zero. All right. Yeah. When you go back to that screen, it just resets everything. And so I'm ready to unlock it and press play now then. Now you're ready because you're right on. Okay. And so if you want to pull up your bobbin thread at that first stitch, you can go to the first stitch now. You can hit the plus minus button. Okay. And you can do plus one. I can put the needle position down. Well, yeah, because if you want to pull up your bobbin thread, but you want to take your template off, your paper. I've got my template. paper there, but I'm just going to leave it there for right now. I don't think paper will hurt it. I have to go back to the other screen to put it down. Unlock the key. The oh, lock okay. button. There you go. There we go. So if you want to pull up your bobbin thread, now pull, hold your top thread and hit the needle up down one more time while you're holding I'm the top to thread. I'm going to set you down to do that. Hold on. Let me try it. Oh, hold it down there? Yeah. Just like on your sewing machine, if you want to pull up the bobbin thread, you hold oh, on to the top oh, yeah. thread. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can do that. And now pull okay, on the top it. thread and you'll get your bobbin yeah. thread. Got it. Now you can move your paper out of the way and then hey, hold both it. threads and do needle down and then start stitching. So move the... Uh, 
template out of the way, hold both threads, get your fingers out of the way, do needle down, just needle down. Okay, hold both threads. You got both threads? Right. Because you want them to be really long. When the needle was up, you could have stretched it out longer, but you know, because your tension just would be open. Yes. Okay. So, Great. Well, thank you. I wish they would uh, fix it so that you didn't have to go in and out, in and out, and back doors and saving and storing and zeroing. And it sure would be, I don't know. I've had other embroidery machines you didn't have to do. You didn't have to go off the, the uh, first screen to do any of that. So. Right. If this is a new machine to me, and it's kind of expensive, but it's really confusing. You know, because I'm going to use this feature when I do like applique and, you know, the bottom of a jacket or a shirt that I want to have a continuous thing, a tablecloth, you know, hopefully one day get into more end to end quilting, which is what I was kind of trying to see, you know, earlier and got frustrated and called you. So thank you, but I hope I got it now. Yeah, just just be sure to, to hit the zero when you're on the stitch plus minus, and then that'll bring that black keypad back when you go back to the embroidery screen. Okay. And then just remember that if you go back one more screen to the edit screen, that edit screen will steal all of your positional settings, but rest assured they're on that. Well, that's what was confusing, too, is because this would look like zero after I thought I had moved it. So I was like, okay, I thought I moved it, but it's saying zero, 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 zero. And I'm like, that's why I had to call you today, because I was like, if anybody's going to know, it's going to be Lisa. Uh -huh. Well, so, thank you. You're so welcome. Okay. Have Bye. a great one. You Bye. too. Bye.